In the map, we see Spain, and to the right, we see Catalonia. Catalonia is a province from Spain that most recently has declared unilaterally independent. In a controversial vote in the regional parliament, with no opposition members, they had destabilized the country and turned into open rebellion. As the situation could turn critical and the central government takes their autonomy, we can only wonder if the events turn to the worst, who would win in a 2017-2018 Catalonian war? In this first episode, we will analyze what's the most plausible scenario and what measures are implemented from the central government as well as possible future actions. And in future episodes, we will explore the different open war scenarios, one in favor of the independentist faction and another in favor of the Spaniards. And I will say in the end of each video, who do I think will be victorious? So let's start with what measures is taking the central government. In Madrid, the president Mariano Rajoy has dissolved the Catalonian parliament and taken direct control of all the province until December, where there will be new elections. He has done so with the constitutional power of Article 155. This article states that the government can take control of a province if this province is acting against the interest of the Spanish people. The only thing required is an absolute majority of votes in the Senate. This measure was imposed hours after the declaration of independence, stripping the power from the provincial government. The Supreme Court and the Attorney General have already mobilized against the Catalonian government. Most likely, they will be prosecuted for crimes such as treason, sedition, rebellion, or embezzlement of public funds. They will probably go to prison from 10 to 25 years, depending on the judge. On a personal note, I have to say that from what I've read, the future of the Catalonian political hierarchy looks very grim. There's a very big chance that the central government will make an example out of them. Before entering into the police and military power, let's first analyze their political power. We can see from these charts that even though the independentist bloc has an absolute majority in the House, they did not win the popular vote. This could be a shock for most of you, but it's not weird in a democracy for this thing to happen. For example, in the United States, Hillary won the popular vote, and right now Donald Trump is ruling. This chart will help us in the future because it lets us know that the governmental forces would not enter Catalonia as a complete hostile territory. Knowing that half of the population supports each side, let's now analyze the force. Currently, there's three police forces in Catalonia. The Guardia Civil is a military police force controlled by the Ministry of Defense. It is heavily armed with anti-terrorist groups, helicopters and light armor. Due to the current situation, the Guardia Civil has been reinforced from 3,500 to an additional 2,500, making it a total of 6,000 units on Catalonia. The Home Office is in charge of the National Police, which in Catalonia normally is 2,500 strong. Right now, it's been reinforced with an additional 3,500, making it a total of 6,000 units. On the other side, the Catalonian provincial government has its own police force. The Mossos de Squadra is almost 17,000 strong and they have their own anti-terrorist unit as well as riot units. Nevertheless, it's not heavily armed, with no light armor and very few surveillance helicopters. It's very important to say that Catalonia has no army and no national guard, making an army-to-army -army engagement highly unlikely. So for the moment, we will exclude military units from this scenario. To this day, the forces in Catalonia loyal to the central government are 12,000 strong. If war started today, it looks like the Spanish police is in clear disadvantage to the 17,000 units of the Catalonian police. 
but as we can see in the popular poll chart, half of the Catalonian population is against independence, so we would think the same would happen to the police. If the central government takes control of the Mossos de Squadra, replacing their officers with ones loyal to Spain, it is logical to suppose that half of them will follow their orders and join the Spanish side. With the odds so against them, the remaining Mossos de Squadra would pose little to no resistance, perhaps a symbolic one. We can see a perfect sample in this video. Even though the Mossos de Squadra don't like what the Guardia Civil is doing, they are powerless to stop them. Of course there will be violence, but I doubt it will turn into open rebellion. It's my understanding that the current situation is not in favor of the independentists, because they lack the motivation to go and take arms against the Spanish forces. Also, Spain is very strict with gun control. Arming the independentist side, it's almost impossible. It looks like the Spanish riot police will have a lot of work in the incoming months. To end this video, I will say that as for this first scenario, the Catalonian independence is an hoax. The Spanish have an army, more police force, more support in the streets, they have the courts, and they have international support from the European Union and NATO. It looks like that the Catalonian leadership will go to jail in the incoming months. With no international support, and barely 50% of the support of the population, it's highly unlike that they will achieve anything in the near future. Therefore, I forecast that the current situation will be a victory for Spain. If you like the video, please like and subscribe, it really helps the channel out. And I hope we will see each other in the next episode of Who Would Win Catalonian Edition.